Hello guys, I'm back with a new short video, a short preview about uh, a test that I made with uh, one of my oldest cells that I've built, a cell that um, had very good results. This is one of the tests that I did earlier, 25 minutes running. At 10 milliamps, not bad. That's a cat, my cat. Once my seat, <laughs> never is going, is never going to happen. And uh, why I decided, I'll open, I'll see what's inside. Looks really, really bad. Fall apart a little bit, but as I was saying, it is quite old. And what I decided that I'm going to change the electrolyte. I'll try to use now one of my deputectic solvents, electrolyte. It's still holding pretty well. It is on a piece of uh, graphoil. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add normal filter paper and another piece of graph oil and uh, I'll be back so now we have it in between the two plastic plates fixed, clamped connected to the electronic load just as it is, it shows us has 0 0.7 of a volt. What we'll do, we'll connect it now to the charger and we'll charge it through the electronic load and we'll see how it's doing. Okay, we had a peak of probably 110 at the beginning, milliamps, charging, is charging with 1.92, increasing, that's good, amperage is decreasing nicely. I will pause now and uh, come back in 10 minutes, see here how he's doing. One thing that I forgot to mention, I already grinded the carbon, the activated carbon. You can see it's pretty thin powder. What I'm going to do to make sure that I have the finest powder, I'm going to take a stainless steel 400 mesh and I'm going to use it to filter only the particles that are smaller than 400 uh, uh, mesh I think that is smaller than 5 microns and then I'm going to make two two solutions two electrodes, two cathodes one with the smaller than 5 microns particles and one with what's left is quite thin. I'll try to see if I can open it with one hand, although I doubt. Yeah, no, I can't. So I was saying it's quite, quite thin. That is good. But Exactly as I was saying earlier, I will not be doing that now. I will first wait to finish my night shift. Just three more nights. See you in a bit. Oh, and the cell is charging pretty well. It's now on 0 0.054, 54 milliamps. Two volts increasing, good. 
yeah we'll see I had very very good results if you remember in my first video I was running that motor for six hours not bad at all we'll see if it's uh, capable my guess is that it was running at probably three four milliamps and because of that was able to run for a very 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 long time much longer than the normal proportion 10 milliamps one hour 5 milliamps two hours no I think that's not the right way to calculate uh, the running time versus the the load yeah see you in a bit yeah we are now on 8 minutes of charging and um, probably I'm going to stop it shortly it's already I think 4 in the afternoon and I have to get ready to go to work but I really really wanna run this test luckily I can uh, monitor this cell even when I'm at work I can con uh, control my computer through the team viewer very very good software very helpful connect the cell go to work then every now and then I can come in and see what is it doing and also the electronic load pays off I had to wait a lot to get it from China but I'm not regretting that okay I'm going to disconnect it now and start the test at um, 10 milliamps and um, I'll be back shortly okay is on 1.2 volts after charging, I'm going to start the test now. And see how it's doing. The initial voltage drop wasn't that bad. And the discharging slope is a friendly one. Yeah, we'll leave it running and uh, I'll come back at the end see you in a bit okay so we are now on 15 minutes 16 minutes of running still have 0.6 of a volt the slope is as I was saying friendly and we are now on a 3 milliamp hours milliwatts hours yeah looking good looking good <clears throat> looking all right so we'll see you in a bit okay we are getting close now to the cutoff voltage 0 0.3 we are now on 22 minutes and a half still looking good I won't run it till it will go to 0 volts completely 0 volts I really have to go to work I have 2 more minutes 3 more minutes that I can stay yeah what I can say still very good results from this old cell I think I think the resistance on this material on itself was around 40 or 50 ohms if I'm not wrong somewhere around there yeah in the next videos I will uh, show exactly how I built this um, electrode with what materials and um, we'll carry on from there 
but for the moment yeah probably the running time will be the same 25 minutes capacity 4 milliamp hours energy 3 milliamp a milliwatt hours see you in a bit okay so finished now back on charging running time as I was saying 24 and a half same capacity same energy density I'll leave it charging for a bit and then uh, then I will monitor the natural discharge of uh, this cell during the night <clears throat> The discharging curve really really good one didn't have any issues as we can see and yeah I'll run more tests with this cell and this electrolyte because this is the main reason why I reactivated this uh, old cell and um, see after a few charges how is uh, behaving if we get better results and uh, we'll see what is to be done from there till next video thank you so much for watching this hope you liked it hope you find it helpful and uh, if you have any comments please post them in the comments uh, section or you can subscribe never stop learning see ya